Hey guys, John Luxa here, back with our blind playthrough of Deus Ex, and also today is Jack joining me. His face was actually up here in the camera earlier, but, you know. So let's load. Man, this game's gonna take me forever, I feel. I feel like this game is probably gonna take me forever. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I mean, I hope people are watching it, but... Realistically speaking, not many people are. Which is kind of sad, actually, because I'm having a ton of fun. Wait. Wait, why is that... Like, that's an... Wait. Wait, what's going on? They're both friendlies. The objective is get into the hangar and find the other barrel, right? That's Paul. So, it's true, he is part of the Rebels, and... He's here. You can relax, JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Well... I have a feeling he's in the right. That's just my thought, knowing what we know about the, the conspiracy and all that stuff. All right, well. And worse, he might be the leader. Wait, where's- Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. UNATCO will have a team here in a few minutes. The Grey Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the president is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard of Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. I assume I could pull out the thing and shoot him. Right? But, let's hear what he has to say first. <laughs> now, the other thing is... Oh, I can't hear everywhere, Jack. The, uh, oh, there's the robots. And they're all green at the moment. So until I do something, they're not gonna... They're not gonna mess with me, but... Uh, Yuneko is recording everything... JC sees and hears and stuff. Let's run up and talk to... Get on the plane. We're almost ready to go. Blackmail of the U.S. government could not possibly escape the notice of the United Nations. Don't be so quick to trust the U.N. Are you kidding? The U.N.'s about the only chance we've got these days. If the U.S. spirals into another civil war... A pretext. Nothing more. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Is that so? Maybe. Remember that the UN itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. Get on board. A UNACO security squad will be here any minute. I believe that is also true. Scanning area. Alright, well, let's get on board and, and see what happens. What happens if I do pull out a gun and shoot him? Should we... bad end. Presumably. Well, I guess if we're gonna go out, let's go out good. <laughs> oh, I can't shoot? It just passes right through him. So you can attack the other guys, but you can't attack Paul. Interesting. Well, in that case, let's get on the plane. Private restroom. Can I drink out of the toilet? I mean, right? We can drink all the 
all the water out of the the stuff out of the the water what do you call it water the thing that you put your cup under it's got the big container of water and I totally brain fart right now a little closet so this is kind of like a a hotel we have 40s and soda and soy food which hmm. should I eat that stuff should I pick it up ah let's keep going Oh, the floor changed. Neat. But Lebedev presumably is also one of the players, right? Because he's one of the wealthy. Why is this locked? Door strength is at 100. My expectation is that they will hear this. Let's find out. Well, nobody responded to it. Strange security camera, assault rifle, or presumably a security camera, right? Maybe I wasn't supposed to come in here yet? Huh. Don't mind me, dude. Juan Decker let me know Killian dropped off the canister recovered during the operation. Decker wasn't sure what it was, but he put in a suspension crate on board the plane. Coded to 9905. Figured you'd know what to do with it. See you soon, Aaron. I believe we've gotten that before. I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray you not go without a reason. Was I supposed to come in here at this point? Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. UNATCO policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base oh. on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. Um... Interesting, so I basically have to choose, do I? I have the command here now. Let's finish exploring the plane first. Because I don't know if I was supposed to blow that up. Like, why would, why would the door do that? You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Ah, oh, your cat hair is everywhere, Jack. You already have enough of that type of ammo, so I'm full of ammo. And this is what flies the plane? Hello. Ah, okay. Well, there you go, then. Strange that the dude wouldn't just be waiting for you, you know what I mean? Hello? Well, that's probably bio... juice or whatever, you know? I don't see... Oh, is that the actual... All the cardboard boxes. Oh, hello! Hello, friend! Right on. Okay. Repair bot. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll recharge our meager energy usage.
Was this the 9905? Uh, we found it before, right? Somewhere else? Damn it. Uh, well. Don't have enough room in your inventory, so I gotta drop something. Scramble grenade. No, that would probably be helpful. Um... I mean, I could use one of these, I suppose. Because that was actually pretty handy. I guess we'll use one to augment. I don't... Uh, I really don't want to. Let's... Let's drop one of... Let's drop one of the ballistic armors. Damn it. Damn it all to hell. <laughs> you know, if I could break um, boxes open with the pistol, I would, especially the stealth pistol, I would just drop the baton. So... All right, for now we'll drop the ballistic armor. Oh, can I add EMP shield or ballistic protection? Augmentation canister teams with the nail scale. Okay, so I've read that already. I mean, I think. Right, so yeah, I definitely want to keep on these for whichever one. Um... Let's try it. This might be... It might be a regret, right? It's also a non-lethal melee weapon. You know what? Just to be on the safe side... Drop. Um... Just to be safe. Yeah, because I mean... I don't know what the deal will be if I'll need a melee weapon at some point. Well, okay, so... Strange. Let's read this newspaper also. Oh, we've read that one already. Black helicopter's a concern. I will save here, because, so, yeah, I mean, what I would suspect, what I would suspect. I guess, I assume you have to choose. Do you kill her? Does she kill you? Maybe I need one of those ballistic armors. Boop. Okay. So we found that one before. I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from... And our mission is to assassinate him. assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray UNATCO without a reason. Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. UNATCO policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, Agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. So I basically shoot him. Or I leave. But what happens if I shoot her? I have the command here now. I assume if I leave, she'll shoot him. Well, let's try it. You are wordless if you cannot obey a simple order. Can I tase her? Uh, 
There we go. This man will receive a speedy trial. Sure he will. Well, well. I have him. Really? I can't tase her? Is that how this works? Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. I surrender. What? Can I Easy skip this? Enough. We're assuming don't he make you Yes I can. Okay, so then Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. Terminate the Um yeah, I mean I don't really I'm not really ready for combat. It seems like you can't tase her. Would a pepper spray work on her? Probably not. Probably non-lethal stuff will not work. Ballistic armor activated. Okay. And I assume it stays in your inventory until it is done. How do I change the ammo? I have the command here now. Um... There we go. Darts loaded. Okay. Base damage 25. Base damage 8. So this is actually decent ammo. You are worthless if you cannot obey a simple order. Stand down, agent. 910. I'm catching up, Gunther. I don't know if you can kill her. I mean, she's- I surrender. What? We're assuming control of the airfield. Don't you want to hear what- He makes his own dis- You know he wouldn't- Maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot him. Good work. Now- He surrendered. Terminate the prisoner. Goal received. Check data vault. Go to the helicopter or assassinate. One of the two. Uh, let's see. Well, let's- Heal, 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 heal. I just want to see if I can. Oh, heal all. I probably wasted some, but whatever, it's fine. Inventory. Uh, use. And then what's the other option? Use this, maybe? Because she does... Uh... I have the command here now. It's him! This will be God. easy. Okay. So all she does is shoot you. That doesn't really help. Um, wait, what the hell? I hit the tab button and it threw the freaking weapon. Okay. Not my intent. So he's dead. What about her? That's not helpful. Well... I mean, but I probably beat the mission, so... I... Let's try that again. I surrender. What happens if I just... Uh... Good work. What happens if I just turn on her? Can I shoot? Is she dead? Maybe I'm... Oh, oh, no, no, she's not. Uh, but she's heavily damaged. Now she's dead. I did not expect a cloaking field. Oh. Jesus, JC, that was Agent Navarre. 
She was at a line there about the execution, but... Oh my god! Manderly will have you shot! We have to erase the log files. I don't like this, but I'll protect you this time. I guess you have to stand up for what you believe. I guess Paul must have convinced you. All right. We're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. Whoa. You were made by a couple of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Your proof? You're the proof. You and Paul. When you get back to Unatko, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? The UN and UNATCO are just a couple of their tools. Okay. Well. I think I'm going to stick with this. So, Navara. I mean, I'm in the clear. Basically, because of, of that dude. Right? He's like, Jesus, you didn't have to do that. I'll race the logs and stuff, but you gotta do what you believe in. Yunatko has already occupied the airfield. Just go through the motions and report back to Liberty Island. I can't do anything for you here. Be patient. Someone will contact you soon. So what happens if you shoot him? Does it change the story? It probably doesn't change a whole lot. But I'm glad I took her out now because, well... If you want to find out more, you'll have to contact Tracer Tong in Hong Kong. Be patient. Someone will contact you soon. All right, well... Uh, yeah. Oh, is she... Damn it. Her body disappeared? I wanted to see if I could get stuff off of it. But probably not. You know what? Let's let's try. Uh, what are we? How, time? How are we doing? Um, Navara lost. Save, and then we're gonna load. Load game. What I want to do is shoot her with the rocket once, so that she cloaks and run away, and then I'll pull out the. Uh, the pistol and shoot her with that until she dies. <laughs> right? Well, this one because it does more damage than the stealth pistol. It's not as accurate, but you know. I surrender. What? Good work. Nothing. He sur Termi Terminate the prisoner. Reload. What if I did, um... I have the command here now. I have white phosphorus. Oh, that hurts me. It, it hurts me. I'm hurt. That's kind of funny. <laughs> well, okay. I surrender. All right, that's funny. Good work. Now he's terminate. I'm surprised he didn't get hurt, though. You know what I mean? It just like that. What the f? That is what happens to a prisoner who tries to escape. Go to the helicopter now, Agent Denton. It is waiting at the airfield. Get to the helicopter. Manderly will want to see you. 
Right. <clears throat> Interesting. So if you go too far... I surrender. What? You we're don't you he makes it you know Good work. Now finish it. He surrender. Terminate. Yeah, and, you know. Right, so I can't pass this doorway. I have the command here now. Don't worry, so do I. Let's aim for the far wall. It. Are you? Uh, right. So I'm basically screwed as soon as I pass that uh, that thing. I just want to check the body, man. I surrender. I want to see if there's something like probably nothing, but maybe maybe there's like an augmentation or something that she drops. You know what I mean? I have the command here now. Can I just shoot her directly? Okay, that worked, but I think it hurt him. Oh, she's, uh... Yeah, okay, the meat does not do anything. You need a body to search, I suppose. And I don't even know if that's possible to kill her. But we're gonna try for a few more minutes, right? We'll go... we'll go right here. Uh, we'll drop this. It's weird that Tab throws your weapon. Some soda, yay, we'll drink the soda. Oh, that doesn't take up much... at all. So what is this stuff? Oh, 20 millimeter ammo, I can't select that. Base damage, three. Yeesh. I surrender. What? We're soon, don't you? He make you know. Good work. Now finish the. He's. All right, well. Let's see, we'll use... Use one. Uh, heal the torso, that's... Fairly important. I think the rest of this stuff is okay. I have the command here now. She's... Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. She self-destructs! I didn't realize this. She literally blows herself up. Okay. Are you I'm sorry to scare you, Jack. <laughs> well, okay, I feel good about this now. That's crazy. When she dies, her body blows up. So it's basically the only way to save him. You kill her. Go to the helicopter at the airfield. Right. And see, it still doesn't show... Or maybe... Maybe... Whatever. It's fine. Can I drink all the 40s? I need some. <laughs> uh, okay. Do I have blood on my face? Okay, and Navarro is lost in the, the line of duty. That's very sad. Proceed to the helipad. This is the same guy that was here before, right? You in charge? I have something for you. Oh. I'm about to pull out. Maybe you should talk to one of the troopers. I filched this stuff from a guy's locker. I'm selling a recoil weapon mod for 400. I also have some shotgun shells I'll give you for 300. Nah, I'm all right. 
Maybe later. But thanks. Thanks for the offer. Okay, so this is the front. How do we get to the helipad, you know, quickly? And, uh, ladders are here because they are to be climbed. Except it doesn't appear there's anything else around here. So we'll just kind of... All clear, sir. God damn it. Well, all right, whatever. It's fine. Do I go back this way? Hey, Manny. Do I... <laughs> so your brother left me and now you want to be in my lap. That's fine. So what happens now that she's toast? Like, I mean, she wasn't good. Right? The whole point is that... You are a kitty. With hair. With kitty hair. Um, are you just hanging out right there? Like, because she's like, oh, just kill him. Whatever. But that's, that's how it is. I don't feel bad for her, because her whole thing is, well... We follow our orders. We kill people that... You know, there's no standards, right? There's no morality. You just do what you're told. And it's at that point that it's like, well, if you don't stand for yourself, then, or stand for others, I have no sympathy. Really? Is this... Wait, where... Oh, that's where we came from. Is this the only way? That seems weird. Oh, there's another door. Or is that another door? I don't know. I mean, that's the actual door, but I could have sworn... Uh, maybe not. Alright, let's return back to the helicopter. And maybe, maybe we'll get away with it. Majestic 12, huh? Oh, that's a weird little thing. Majestic 12. Just the fact that he knew about that alone is, you know, means a lot. Are these gonna shoot me if I go over here? No, it looks like they're off. In that case, they're worth Worth checking out. Wait. Oh, oh no, there is one. Okay, there is something. And anything in here? There's that. More binoculars. Oh, hello. Definitely worth it. Let's go check out the other one. I'm just gonna hold my weird key ring out. Man, I have a headache. Yeah. So they're talking about going back to work soon. I mean, uh, more more normally for us, which honestly, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I mean, there's still a lot of risk because their response is, "Oh, there's there's a uh, Gunther." Their response is basically, well, you know, we haven't uh, we haven't had that many outbreaks here, so we'll be uh, we'll be fine. Oh, hello, hello. Right, this is where I try the the thing. And so the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Which means we're going to get that other ballistic. I know. I know. We're gonna drop the baton and get that other ballistic armor because... I might... I might need it. I'm a hoarder. I mean, it's possible I'll run out of bullets and that will be a tragedy, but if that's the case, then I'll... Why am I going the long way? I don't know. But you know. 
Oh, come on. Uh, was it 5914? You'd think it would be unlocked. Or, or something. Yeah, but it's like the whole... Like, oh, hey, we're gonna, you know, start... Start doing... You know, all those... All the cases again and stuff, and it's just like... Nope, I went the wrong way. It's like, it's not... Maybe hold off for a bit. I don't want that number five. I want, uh... Eh, we'll say... We'll say gas grenades in number five. So it should be interesting to see if there's another outbreak here in the future, at least where I am. Um, it's, like I said previously, it's been fairly contained. It's, it's the whole, um, I mean, people need to work. You know, I get that, but at the same time, it's like, you gotta, don't just go right back to normal. You know, so we'll we'll see. They're like, oh, it'll it'll be fine. And I'm just like, like nobody's been really paying attention since the beginning. Okay, that's one of us. So I guess we will see. I guess we'll see how these things go. What's up there? All right, let's check this out. Hello. Very nice. See, I'm not sure if it's actual ammo. Like, it seems like it's mostly clips, and then whatever the clip is, is based on... Like, it's stored as clips, and then, um... Oh, this is where we're going. And then, you know, how much ammo you have is actually dependent upon your magazine size. So... We'll talk to Herman in a minute. Sorry about your partner. She was, uh... Hello! Did it just give me ammo? What happened with that? Right? It did. Give me two rounds. Right on. Another gas grenade. I want to see what's over there, also. Let's talk to Herman first. Mandoli has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. Standard procedure, it appears. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Yeah, well, there was shooting on the 747. I didn't see what happened. Maybe Anna beat you to it. I will investigate. She might need backup. Hey, about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the Coalition. Obey or die. Don't think for yourself, just be a good little puppet. I wonder if what's-his-name's gonna die anyway, Lebedev. It wouldn't surprise me. Especially if they want him dead. I mean, like, like, that's... That's kind of the point. Alright, so we have... Recoil... Let's drop... Drop this for now. Scramble grenade. Recoil, uh... What? Just that, huh? Well, okay. 
Kind of good thing that I didn't buy the weapon or the recoil mod. Recoil is probably good for like your assault rifles. And honestly, just given how much stuff we have, it seems like it might be a better idea to um, kind of stick to like one weapon. Ah. Uh, uh huh. Well, I mean, I think it's EMP, not electricity, right? EMP field, but it probably damages as well. So let's, um, Right, and of course that doesn't help, because we want to get over there to shut it off, right? Does it hurt? Uh, what's my health? I think it does hurt. That's 18, right? And these are all bad as well. 25, 35. Yeah, it's damaging her head, I think. Or, or maybe not. Head is 39. It actually does not appear to be hurting too much. No, it is hurting us now. It seems like it's random, though, which is weird. No, uh... No points. No skill points, right? Let us... We're gonna open it again and check it out. See, I don't know what that is. That looks like a weapon mod. Oh, great. Uh, clip. And binocular tech goggles, well, whatever. Eh. Wait, can I crouch under it? Not really, no. Eh, it'll be okay. It'll be alright. MP field load. So I guess we'll see if uh, what's his name gets killed. Let's talk to him again. I will be truthful. I have requested the assignment of the Paul Denton assassination. For a peacekeeping uh, organization, they're really big on assassinating people, aren't again, they? Again, they ignore me. Again, they think they have a better punishment for a traitor than a shotgun to the head. What's the? I will do it myself, even if they say to get him alive. See? Like, that's the thing. Anna Navarre, she's like, orders are orders, you have your orders, obey. And then he's like, no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I want. I wanna kill people. Which is it? Lunter told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. Coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? Um ready, let's move out or give me a minute to look around. I mean, you know, I'm I'm fine with what we've got. The the clip size and stuff, I mean that's that's fine. I want it, don't get me wrong, but it's... Eh. I'm ready, let's move out. Get in. 
I wonder how long this game is, because I'm... It's taken me a minute, and I... I don't feel bad about that, but it's like... I don't want this to be like a hundred episodes or whatever, you know? Alright, so first things first, let's go here. Nope, that's the shadow. Oop, okay, I thought we were gonna... Um, crowbar? What was the code again? Uh, let's see. 0451. The robot's not there this time. 12 god gauge Sabo shells. I wonder if they're, uh... So I know Sabo rounds are... Like, for non-standard ammunition, it's like a... It's like a... It's like a little styrofoam thing that goes around it with the actual ammo inside so that it's the styrofoam is shaped like a normal round so that it can fire normally but then as soon as it gets out the barrel the uh the styrofoam like falls away and the round itself is launched so it looks like there were darts or something on it so it'd be a way to fire darts out of a shotgun somehow You know, just making a sweep. Just in case, you never know. Never know. Yeah, it's weird, the robot, you know. Robot's not there now. Vanderly wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing Lebedev. Right on. This area is off limits. Silence. Wait, were those doors closed? Does the newspaper say anything different? Uh, no. Talk about. Don't worry. Manderly calmed down when he heard they picked up Lebedev. What does that mean? You'll be all right. He's mainly upset about Paul. Yeah. You better get downstairs for a debriefing. You better get downstairs for a debriefing. Yeah, I'm curious how it's going to work out with, you know, Navarra being dead. She was killed in action. We don't understand how he did it. She's one of our top agents. You know, something like that. Anti-terrorist coalition. Manderly's blowing his top. You better go see him on the double. Will do. Saw it load there for a second. Level one. We still have a few minutes. I want to go see what the deal is. Can I go in here? It's a question of who benefits society more. But who decides that? You? It's implicit. I think Paul just had a soft spot for the plague victims. Every human institution is like a pyramid. Those with ability are at the top. They're more important. Not always. It's the foundation that's important. When the foundation's gone, they make the decisions. They keep the machine running. Therefore, they must be protected first. I'm not saying Paul was right. It's basic tactics. Protect your command centers, your airstrips, your industrial zones. It's just the rationing. Seems like the government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. So it's only true that you need to protect the top if it's based on merit and ability, right? It's not. And we know that. We know that. That's the that's the issue. Hello, Agent Denton. Right? Hi, JC. Like that's that's the thing. That's why um the minute the minute you lose there's this concept called social mobility, which is the ability to go up and down the ladder. Right? Like, if you work hard, the whole thing, if you work hard, you can get rich. Get rich by working hard. Uh, the, the problem is... 
once people get to the top, they change the rules in their favor. It's it's the whole uh, argument against the boomers that, you know, now that the boomers are all retiring and stuff, they've voted to give themselves more benefits at the expense of, you know, millennials. It's a living. For example, whether that's true or not, I can't say. But what does happen is that the people at the top give themselves more power. And so the social mobility, the ability to get from the lower class to the higher class by working hard goes away. And once that happened, the whole the the pyramid as it is basically begins to crumble. And it's not it's not good. So it's not necessarily protect the bottom, protect the top, whatever. It's you need to make sure that the people that can rise do so or have the people with the ability to get to the top can get there you know and all the dead weight at the top falls right because social mobility is good for going up and down you know it's the ability to to make a fortune and then lose it and then get back up to the top again right these days can't really do it that's not so much so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, you know. I think that's what people... Ammo, I have enough. Uh, electric cell. I think a lot of people don't really understand that. Like, the ones uh, clamoring for, for socialism and stuff. Like, they don't... It's not taking people and is it attacking me did I step on it by mistake is that what happened hello also hello oh wait how am I really you can only carry 20 well move the chair since we have the weapon recoil thing here, I'm going to... Let's, uh, let's drop this for a second. Can I pick up... I, I answered this before. No, it's... You're limited to one stack. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, okay. Yay, upgraded my, uh... My generic pistol that I, well, hopefully will never use. What was my, uh, let's check this real fast, then we'll go talk to, what's his face? Uh, let's see, JCD Bionic Man. JCD, oh, not space. I uh, hit tab, I don't know where it went. Bionic man. Hey, Jacobson, come by my office. We need to talk about that last mission in person, not info link. Come by my office after you've been debriefed by Manderly. I agree, we do need to talk about it. Oh, it's running for me now. I'm sorry, little robot. I'm sorry. Don't be afraid. Oh. Hello. Come down here and open this one up. Your brother sure had us fooled. Hey, robot, come down here. I need you to open this door for me. No, don't go that way. I mean, you can if you really want to, but... Alright, fine. What about this? Look at all that... stuff. Alright, well, let's let's get debriefed by Man Manderly. We'll see what, what the deal is, and then, uh... You know what? Let's let's not. Let's save here. Uh get chewed out. Yes. Um Yeah. Yeah, it's not about the whole socialism thing. It shouldn't be about giving the money, taking money from rich and giving it to the poor like well, presumably like Robin Hood or whatever, it should be about giving people with the ability 
you know, get rid of nepotism, get rid of cronyism, you know, make things merit based so that if you have the ability to rise to the top, you can. Um, and if you don't have the ability to stay there, then you fall to where you belong. Um, you know, that's it's an issue. It's an issue. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Um, I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Yeah, I mean... It, it does matter to me that you guys are, are enjoying them. I don't know how many people will, but... That's why I'm kind of like, how long is this game? How long is it going to go for? I have no idea. It's, it, I mean, it's kind of like an RPG and looking at all the augmentations and stuff. I feel like I'm maybe, if I'm like 10% of the way through the game, that's an issue. But then again, um, I mean, who knows? We'll see. Anyway, um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's the fact that BitChute seems to be allowing me to upload again. Maybe their their servers are a little less overwhelmed at this point. Hard to say, uh, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully, your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully, better, of course. And Manny is really warm. I mean, I'm warm because he's in my lap right now. Um, but I do hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.